Hi EuroLeague fans, this is George Zidek. I'm here with my selection of the All-Decade team. Let's start. The first selection is Miloš Teodosic. I think the best passer in the game last decade. A player who can take over any game in a heartbeat and nightmare for defense on pick and roll situations. Second is Vasilis Panoulis. I think that you would agree that as the player with the best body language and physique uh, that just was contagious to the rest of the team. He was a true leader by example in all the championship teams that he was. He really set the tone. Third is Nando De Colo. Uh, I love Nando for his ability to draw fouls, the way that he picks defenses apart off the dribble and also his ability to shoot. And I think that he has always stepped up in a game that mattered. So uh, big games always mattered and counted. You could count on Nando to produce. Fourth is Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic, a player with the biggest upside. Perhaps he was a little bit too young uh, when he was with EuroLeague, but you know he proved himself that he was a mismatch in every category. Uh, with his ball handling skills, with his size, he could post up, his passing skills, and he was always patient. You know he, And I think that he was also well liked by his teammates. That, that matters a lot. Uh, fifth selection is Bogdan Bogdanovic. I love the way that he could shoot the ball, uh, his patience uh, in uh, the way that he allowed the game to always come to him. He didn't force anything and he just got so much better on a pick and roll situation, especially in his last season in EuroLeague. He was a big threat on, this, on those pick and roll situations. And we go to the small forwards. Uh, I pick Will Clyburn. Uh, Will Clyburn has been the best athlete I've seen in a long time at the small forward position. I think that his ability to finish on a fast break, uh, his rebounding skills, as he was always the leading rebounder on his team, or one of the best, and also the three-point shooting ability uh, that he developed later on that made him uh, a candidate for selection, in my opinion. Uh, then it's Rudy Fernandez. Uh, I think that Rudy is a type of a player that is known for his shots. But, you know, I, I acknowledge the, the way that he could always change the momentum of a game, of any game that was not going right for his team. He was a player that just could drive the opponent out of, his comf out of their comfort zone. So this is a skill that I value with, uh, with Rudy. And we go to the bigs. Uh, first one would be Gergos Princesses. Gergos Princesses, for many, many years, just the, the big player, one of the bigs that could finish with left and right in the lane, pretty far out also. Uh, he was a player that could finish in, in a heartbeat, just immediately after catching a ball, he could just read off the defense. Just a really difficult player to guard. Then it's Jan Vesely, not because he's my countryman, but I just love him the way that he gets on the fast break. If he gets the, as the, if he gets the ball in a three on two, two on one situation, it was just unstoppable. The way that he crashes the offensive boards, and his sheer size on a pick and roll with a good point guard like Kostas Lucas, you know, he was deadly and effective. So that would be my one to last selection. And I just round it up with Kyle Hines, Mr. Consistency. Uh, I love the way he does what he does with 100% efficiency for his team, the way that he plays and he does not give up on any situation. Uh, I've never seen Kyle Hines uh, go easy in, in any offensive or defensive situation, regardless the score. That makes him a real pro, and that's why I call him Mr. Consistency. So this is my selection of 10 best players for last decade. It was not easy. I went back and forth. I changed it up a few times, and I really apologize to the players that I left out because they are wonderful players that had great careers. Not an easy task to do, but this was my selection. Thank you.